turning now to the second GOP debate. By the way, there's that this evening, too. The seven candidates are preparing to take the stage at the Ronald Reagan Library this evening. But the continued absence of the former president will no doubt weigh heavy on nearly every aspect of that event. Joining us now from California is Johanna Mosca, former Obama official and News Nation contributor, and Denise Gitsum, Republican strategist and former aide to George W. Bush. Uh, one thing we might see tonight are stepped up attacks against Donald Trump, for example. Here's Nikki Haley, Governor Ron DeSantis, in the recent days, and we'll talk about it on the other side. He's running in 2024 on a lot of the same promises he ran on in 2016 and didn't deliver on. He said he was going to drain the swamp. They didn't drain the swamp at all. He still defends hiring Christopher Ray. He didn't fire Ray. He didn't fire Fauci. He said Mexico was going to pay for the border wall. That didn't happen. Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Barack Obama added more to our national debt than the previous 42 presidents combined. You know, I see the sunshine out there in California. It looks fantastic, but hello. Uh, you heard those, those sound bites there, Joanna, from, from Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. Is that what we're going to see tonight? Finally, these candidates going after well, Donald Trump? They would be smart to go after the front runner of their own party because this is a primary after all, Blake. And I've been waiting for that moment. You know, it's interesting because I'm watching some of these pundits say, oh, you know what, he re they really need to do is run against Joe Biden. They're not running against Joe Biden yet. So they've got to make the case on this stage, why them, not Donald Trump? And I do think that you're going to see, you know, Nikki Haley has to meet her performance that she had last time. There's a lot of expectation. DeSantis, if he doesn't have a good night tonight, I don't know how he can continues. Denise? Listen, I don't know why anyone would settle for second place in any campaign. If you're not first, you're last. And what I'm seeing in the polls is that people are fighting for sort of like who's going to be second. And I don't understand why anyone would be satisfied with that. If you're going to win, you have to go after the front runner. The problem is most Americans, at least most Republicans, aren't yet convinced that Trump's not the best option. And so they really have to take a stance that not only distinguishes them from Trump, but doesn't upset those voters who stuck with him because they think he's the likeliest to win in the general. You know, one of the questions I hate after these debates uh, is who won the debate, right? There's no winner or loser. It's in the, in the eye of every individual voter, right? What they saw, what they heard, whether they like it or they don't. But there is no doubt when you look at the numbers that Nikki Haley improved her standing. Going into the, the first debate, she was in the low threes. She basically doubled uh, her polling to, to 6% going into this. In that first debate, Denise, it was Vivek Ramaswamy surging, and he saw a lot of the attention. Do you think that's what we see with Nikki Haley tonight? I think I said this last week on the show. I think Nikki Haley is masterful and diplomatic in so many ways. And I think the more we hear her talk, the more likely it is that people will see, especially Republican women who want some sort of compromise on the life issue, where they think that it takes into account their feelings about the issue as women. I think you're seeing a lot of support gain there. But I also think you're going to see people. This is, look, of all the people, of all the candidates that are out there, the most Reagan asked to me is Tim Scott. And you guys know I'm such a huge fan of his. I think that all of his policies and the way he positions himself is going to place him sort of, I think, for the first time maybe in a position to really take a big step forward in this race. You know, Johanna, I was at that Simi Valley debate uh, back in, what was it, 2015, standing probably on that exact same mm -hmm. hill where you are right now and are close to it. And it was at that time Carly Fiorina. She was surging and they all went after Carly Fiorina. We're seeing it right now with Nikki Haley. Is that what happens tonight? It could, but I think they all realize the gap with Trump is so much bigger than the gap between the candidates, that if they don't focus their fire on Trump, it's a real missed opportunity. I think there are a lot of people also who realize that Vivek Ramaswamy has no, you know, has no experience. And so I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to go after Vivek. And we do miss you here in California. It's beautiful out here right now. What's the temperature? What's the temperature? I see the sunshine. 86 in the low and, you know, <laughs> nice okay. warm day. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you there. Yeah. Have, have fun tonight, Johanna Mosca. Uh, Denise Gitsum, thank you both. See you again soon. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.